For centuries, 13 elite bloodlines have wielded an iron grip on global power, shaping the course of history from their stronghold in Venice, Italy. These families, veiled in secrecy and steeped in dark rituals, have orchestrated the world's financial and political systems, ensuring their dominion over humanity. Often referred to as the Deep State, these bloodlines are infamous for their involvement in nefarious activities, including child sacrifice, sex orgies, and mind control experiments on kidnapped and bred victims. Their reach extended into every corner of the globe with control over key institutions and governments. By 1832, they had successfully taken over the Vatican Bank, a critical milestone that allowed them to exert influence over the world's major central banks such as J.P. Morgan, Goldman Sachs, Barclays, HSBC, and Chase. In 1871, these bloodlines orchestrated the enactment of the Act of 1871, which transformed the United States into a corporate entity known as the Corporation of the United States of America. This act effectively nullified the original constitution, replacing it with a new corporate constitution that served the interests of the elite. The citizens of the United States were unknowingly transformed into assets of this corporate entity, paving the way for the deep state to exploit them for financial gain. By 1914, the Illuminati families had further solidified their power by securing a 99-year lease on the vast gold reserves of the Chinese elders. This gold was funneled into the newly established Federal Reserve, which along with the IRS and other financial institutions, became instruments for laundering US taxpayer money. The Vatican Bank, notorious for its involvement in child trafficking, drug trade and gun running, became a crucial hub for these illicit operations, providing a financial backbone for the global elite's agenda. However, cracks began to appear in the cabal's seemingly invincible facade in the early 20th century. In 1903, the brilliant minds of Nikola Tesla and Van de Graaff started to uncover the secrets of the deep state, revealing technologies and truths that threatened the cabal's control. The turning point came in 1993, when the lease on the Chinese gold expired. Sensing an opportunity, a coalition known as the Alliance began to form uniting global leaders and military forces against the cabal. By the early 2000s, this alliance had grown formidable, comprising figures such as President Donald Trump, Vladimir Putin, Xi Jinping, Mustafa al kadimi Narendra Modi, and other influential leaders, including the mysterious Q Quanon, believed by some to be led by JFK Jr., Pentagon Generals, NSA, and Interpol. The cabal's grip on power was further weakened in 2008 when their reliance on a fiat US dollar culminated in a manufactured mortgage crisis. This crisis was a deliberate attempt to drain the wealth of US taxpayers, but it also exposed the vulnerabilities of the fiat system. In response, the BRICS alliance, Brazil, Russia, India, China and South Africa, was formed with the goal of establishing a new financial order based on gold and other tangible assets. On March 21, 2013, 209 nations came together to sign the Gold Treaty, marking a significant step toward a global financial reset. In 2018, President Trump made a bold move by signing the National Quantum Initiative Act, which laid the groundwork for a revolutionary quantum financial system, or QFS, and a transparent, tamper-proof voting system. This act signaled the beginning of the end for the cabal's control over the global financial and political systems. On October 16, 2019, a joint operation by US Marines and Special Forces led to the rescue of over 2,100 children from the depths of the China Lake Naval Facility in California. This operation revealed a network of deep underground military bases known as DUMS funded and maintained by the cabal for their sinister purposes. 
The year 2019 also saw one of the most significant blows to the cabal. In October, a raid on the Vatican uncovered the global elite's vast money laundering operations. The raid resulted in the seizure of over 650 plane loads of gold and cash, which were repatriated to the US Treasury. This operation dealt a severe financial blow to the cabal, stripping them of the resources they had relied on for centuries to fund their operations. By March 2020, the Alliance had struck a decisive blow against the heart of the Cabal. The heads of the 13 Illuminati families in Venice were eliminated, marking the beginning of a series of arrests and military tribunals targeting high-profile US political elites and global figures involved in the Cabal's activities. These actions signaled the start of a new era one where the deep-seated corruption of the past was finally being brought to light and justice was being served. As we move toward the close of 2024, the world stands on the brink of monumental change. The dismantling of the Cabal is nearly complete, and the final chapters of this epic battle between good and evil are being written. The coming months promise further disclosures arrests, and revelations that will forever alter the course of history. Humanity is awakening to the truth, and as the remnants of the Cabal are brought to justice, a new era of peace, prosperity, and freedom is dawning.